So you want to play workshop maps like any of these on screen, but you don't have Rocket League on Steam. But don't worry, because in today's video, I will be showing you guys exactly how to get workshop maps on Rocket League no matter what launcher you play on. Unfortunately, this is still for PC only, but if you have RL on Epic, then this will work for you as well. So the first step, if you guys don't have Bacchus Mod, is obviously to download it. Now to do that, you'll want to go to BacchusMod.com or BacchusPlugins.com. And I will be leaving all the links in the description down below. But if you do have Bacchus Mod already, you can skip to the time shown on screen now. So what you want to do from here is hover over Bacchus Mod and then scroll down to where it says download Bacchus Mod and then click on that. Then immediately you will be taken to your file folder. This is where you will click save and then you will open up the launcher and follow the steps like so to download Bacchus Mod. But I won't do that because I already have it. If it doesn't work for you for whatever reason, I can also give fixes on that as well in my Discord if you guys want to go join that. And you guys want to DM me if you have any questions about it or anything like that just go ahead and message me there and i will go ahead and answer as fast as i can now once you've done that and you've opened bacchusplugins.com you're just going to want to search for workshop map loader now for most people it'll probably just be right here on the on the top plugin screen right here but you know for whatever reason that it isn't on there just go ahead type in workshop map loader make sure plugins is the little thing that's in the box right here and hit search it should be the first one so as soon as you see this, go ahead and click on it. Go ahead and click install with Bacchus Mod and make sure that you have Bacchus Mod installed already and it is fully finished. So once you've clicked on install with Bacchus Mod, you're going to want to hit open plugin installer and then it'll take you to this little, you know, command thing, command box. But then it'll say plugin is installed. That's when you know that the plugin is fully finished installing and you are safe to close out the command prompt. Now, after you've done that, that's all you need to do from here. Go ahead and close out your browser. And we'll move on to the next step. Now, once you're on your desktop or you have closed your browser, go ahead and make sure that you have Bacchus Mod Injector open and it should look something like this. I'll go ahead and make that a little bit bigger for you guys. And when you're in here, all you have to do is go ahead and click file and press open Bacchus Mod folder. Now, make sure the game is not open while you're doing this. We will open the game for a later step, but it has to be closed for this to all work. So after you've clicked on open Bacchus Mod folder, make sure that this is what you see. You'll see some folders. You'll see like plugin installer, shot converter, that type of thing. Go ahead into this empty space over here or anywhere that you see open space. Right click and then press new and then click on folder to create a new folder. And go ahead and title this workshop maps and just hit enter and that's all you should need to do from there go ahead and double click it to open it up the folder will be empty now what you want to do from here on windows 10 and windows 11 it's kind of similar but it looks a little bit different if you're on windows 10 you're going to want to hover your mouse over at the top where it says app data box mod whatever it says up here on the little search then click in the little empty space on the side and then it should highlight everything then go ahead, hit control C to copy it. Or if you want to just right click and hit copy. Now make sure you have it copy because we are going to need it later in the video. So after you've copied the file path from the Bacchus Mod folder, make sure that you load up RL, launch the game and press F2 to open up your Bacchus Mod settings. You should be on this screen that you can see right here. Go ahead and navigate over to plugins right here in the little tab. Click it, go over to workshop map loader. Make sure that you bind whatever you want the window to open up to. I'll leave it at F3 because I don't use F3 for anything. Now what you want to do is go ahead and open up the plugin window. Press OK on this little, you know, update announcement, and then it'll say put the path of the maps folder. What you're going to want to do is highlight this backspace to delete it and then do control V to paste what you've copied from your file folder. And then all you're going to want to do is hit save path. It'll tell you that your path has been saved successfully. You can go ahead and hit OK. And now for the final step, super, super simple. All you're going to want to do is head over to search workshop rocket league maps.us click on the little search engine and go ahead and type in a map that you want to play now the workshop map i'll be using for this example in this video is hornet's nest by dmc personally one of my favorite maps when it comes to car control and doing awkward maneuvers and stuff like that so i'll go ahead and type something like hornets click on search and then hornet's nest should show up by steam workshop go ahead and click on download map it'll give you the releases go ahead and click on whichever release you want obviously i recommend the latest and then it'll ask you if you actually want to download. So then you would just hit yes. Now let the map download. And then just like that, it's done. It'll go through a little setup through the command prompt. Now after the map is done downloading, all you're going to want to do is go back to map loader. Hit refresh maps. And you should have all of the maps that you have downloaded right here. Now it'll ask you to download some textures for the workshop map. I would go ahead and recommend this. I haven't actually tried this without the textures. So go ahead and download those. It'll tell you that the textures have been installed. Go ahead and click on OK and then click on your map and it should load up like so and just like that and just like that the hornets map is loaded up you can go ahead and play it like so and just kind of mess around in your new workshop map now i believe that they're also going to make a multiplayer but of course there is definitely ways that you can play workshop maps multiplayer already with friends and stuff like that and who knows maybe i could make some videos where i play you know workshop maps with friends or viewers like that as well 
but I'm not sure if it's on here right now. I just know that it is going to be added if it hasn't been already. And that is basically going to be it for the for the workshop maps tutorial. I really hope y'all enjoyed this one. I know a lot of people in my comments have been asking since the car control video if, you know, I can do a tutorial on workshop maps with Epic Games and whatnot since a lot of players don't have RL on Steam. So I really do hope that this one helped you out. And if it did, definitely go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. We smashed our goal of 3K subscribers, by the way, and I really appreciate you guys so much. I told you guys I wanted 3K by the end of October and you guys absolutely destroyed it. Now I'm hoping that we can get 4K subs by the end of the year. So it would be very much appreciated if you guys can go ahead and drop a like. I have a lot more cool videos on the channel. And I also have a Discord server, of course, if you guys want to go join it. And also, if you guys want to catch kick streams where I do replay analysis, I do tournaments with viewers, I do ranked with viewers, viewer 1v1s, workshop maps, possibly in the future, go ahead and check out the kick. The link will be in the link tree down below in the description. But other than that, if you guys have any questions and it doesn't seem to be working, go ahead and join the Discord and just DM me from there, asking your question or whatever about the workshop map. I'll try to respond as fast as I can and help you guys out with that. With that being said, that's all for today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out